next as we continue to level up with Jennifer Hyman. Jennifer, thanks so much Hi. for joining us. Uh, so this started as an idea with your sister or, or inspired by your sister. Yeah, we were both going into debt, buying a lot of fashion. <laughs> And we thought, why not be able to have access to this unlimited closet of whatever we want to wear, whenever we want to wear it. And we also felt like fashion was really undemocratic, mm -hmm. right? Like, it's limited by how much money you make and wealth. And why can't everyone have access to the power and the confidence that comes from wearing designer clothing? It used to be that celebrities were the ones who yeah. would not be able to repeat outfits. But in a world of Instagram, you know, we all feel this constant need to have variety, to wear a new outfit every single day, and that's just not affordable and it's not smart. In the workplace, you walk in mm -hmm. and women are judged. A guy can wear a blue suit every single day to his bank office or his, and he changes tie, maybe, and no one notices. A woman wear that same blue dress two times to her office. What's going on in her life? What's wrong? And we know that women make less than men. So yes, I think people do it for the gram, but in real life, we have women on our own staff who come in, that's cute, I rent the runway. Because you wanna save the money. And you wanna dress for the job you want. Yes. And you wanna dress for the life you want and present yourself with confidence. Yeah. And the thing is how we present ourselves at work is different than how you might wanna be around your family or how you might wanna be when you're on a vacation. Fashion really is about how you feel about yourself. Right. So giving you the power to like, I wanna feel sexy today, I wanna feel powerful and like giving you access to do that. And I don't wanna go in debt doing it. Right. And that's, you have 11 million members, uh, you have three stores. So explain to those who don't know exactly how it works, how does it work? So most of our business is online. You come, you pay a monthly membership fee and you get items on rotation. So annually you'll receive about $40,000 worth of designer clothing for $159 a month. But you could also come and just rent a dress for a special occasion. You know, the, the business of renting the runway, we knew it was a good idea when we started talking to department store executives and they told us, oh yeah, women are renting the runway from our store. It's called buying something, wearing it, keeping the tags on and then returning it. <laughs> it's like, this behavior has been going on forever. Right. Let's just, All right, well, let's just legalize. Let's legalize it. Uh, building this business, you, you dealt with a lot of sexism. You dealt with a lot of people second guessing, saying there's no way this is gonna make it. Um, this is just fashion. You are a girl trying to make fashion a multi-million dollar business. How did you deal with that culture? I think you just keep on pushing through and showing through all of the millions of customers that we have that do this and all of the data and not accepting no as an answer, as Candy said. You know, a lot of people were skeptical and I'm like, this is crazy. All of us have to get dressed every single day. Suddenly, when you put the word fashion on it, it feels feminine, it feels small, but the clothing industry is a $2.4 trillion industry, which is what we're changing. So really starting with the data and being confident that we were on to a very, very big idea right. and that the world was changing and we care about sustainability, we care about being smart, we don't want closets filled with junk that we have to you know, throw out in a landfill or donate. It just doesn't make sense anymore to live in a world of like peak stuff. Yeah, I love this idea.